from all seeing our tarot back with the weekend romance report guys i know i know i've been slacking everybody's been hitting me up but y'all you guys know i went on vacation okay and it was super fun it was super hilarious listen listen linda i cannot turn my neck right now because those rides at cedar point kind of tore me up <laughs> but i can still read these fucking cards Oh, you know what? Shout out to everyone that came out of Ohio that heard that I was going to uh, Cedar Point for vacation and everybody that stopped me and noticed me. I was so amazed that you guys actually listen to what I'm saying. You know, like if I say that I'm going on vacation, you guys literally go out there and I know that you travel from different states and it was pretty far for a lot of you. So just shout out to you. Thanks for the love. I definitely appreciate you guys. Um... Definitely shout out to everybody that checked on me that was worried like Bella, is you okay? <laughs> Some wrong what is wrong? We ain't got no readings. We ain't had no weekend romance. You ain't been going live But the truth of the matter is last month was really really difficult for me. I had to really Figure out where my loyalties lie, you know because it got to a point and I'm gonna do a reading on this So I don't want to talk too much about it, but um, it got to a point to where I had to make sure that I still wanted to do this, you know. Anybody that's a reader, this can be extremely draining, okay? And I'm going on my third year doing this, and it can be difficult helping other people all the time and then going through your own problems, okay? And always having to make sure that your own situations do not affect your readings, okay? Um, a lot of people hit me up and they ask me, you know, I need you to read for me because I can't read for myself. I'm going to do a reading on that and teach you guys how to read for yourself because you can. It's just a matter of sometimes you might not, you know, uh, listen to your spirit guys when they're talking to you. You know, the cards are there for you to read and the story is there. It's just that a lot of us, you know, you're territorial. You You want what you want. Okay. And even if it's not the right thing for you. You may want to see, you know, um, something better, <laughs> just like your clients, pretty much, okay? But we'll talk about that, though. I'm so glad I'm back, y'all. I could not wait to do a reading. I couldn't do it in a hotel room because, like, we, there were so many of us. I was just like, you know what? I could not find the time between the water, the indoor, because we went to an indoor water resort. So between the indoor water resort, the kids running back and forth and running back and forth to Cedar Point, it was listen it was too much chaos but let me tell y'all something i have not taken a vacation a real vacation since i started this business okay so this is the first time i ever took a vacation and it was actually for my daughter's birthday um her birthday is july 29th so i actually just took it for her birthday i just did it all at once but when i tell y'all i had so much exercise and let me tell y'all another thing I didn't notice I was fat until I, my ass got in Ohio, okay? Like, I don't know what it is with the hotel mirrors, y'all. But I was looking in that fucking mirror like, who the fuck is that, okay? I don't know who that fat bitch is, okay? <laughs> I said, Linda. I, you know how you be sitting there or whatever, you ain't got no real full mirror where you can really look at yourself at your crib and shit? And I work so fucking much, I ain't got time to really look at myself in the mirror. Girl, listen, Linda. I got to that damn hotel room, and I, I looked in that mirror. I said, who the fuck is that? You know, and myself said, that's you, bitch. And I said, you mean to tell me you let me get that fat? Like, I gained that much weight? I'm getting this goddamn birth control on my arm, y'all. Don't go for that damn birth control on your arm. Because that shit, listen, unless you're real thin and you don't pick up a lot of weight, that's great. But if you're already chubby, you know, one of them thick thicks, no. That's not, I'm telling you. You're going to be big as hell and you're going to be mad, okay? But anyway, it's all love, though. It's all love. So anyway, um, I was sitting there and I was in Cedar Point. And if you haven't been there yet, you definitely got to go. I, I've been there thousands of times, okay? I only lived uh, three hours away, about two hours, 53 minutes away. But um, it's always a great place to go, okay? But now that I'm older, I'm kind of scared now and shit because I start looking at those restraints and they don't look fucking safe. But I wrote a lot of the rides that, you know, 
that I felt was safe. You know, I ain't fuck with that still vengeance. My daughter did. So if you guys have my Facebook, definitely go check out my Facebook because my daughter's um, and my godson's picture there. It, well, the video's on there of them on a still vengeance. <clears throat> so I didn't ride that. And I didn't ride the Val Raven. I was so mad I couldn't ride the Val Raven because I got on that Maxim XL and Magnum XL. And you guys know my back is jacked up. And that did it for me. That just swelled me up and I was done, okay? But I rode a lot of the other great rides. The Raptor, the Iron Dragon, the Maverick beat the shit out of me, okay, Linda? Listen, I realized how old I was after riding that Ma uh, Maverick two times, okay? That motherfucker threw me all over the place. And I think it gave me whip whiplash, and that's probably why I can't turn my neck. But it is the best ride in Cedar Point. I rode the Gatekeeper. I'm, I rode the Raptor like four times. Um, Magnum XL, the Blue Streak. I rode a lot of the rides, okay? I didn't get on a top throw dragster because I rode that years ago numerous times and I didn't ride the Millennium Force. For some reason, I was scared to death of that, okay? I don't like no shit to go across my legs and that's my only support. Hell no, Linda. I was thinking, you know, if I got a seatbelt on and I'm kind of chubby now, I was skinny back then, you know, like two years ago, I was fucking thin as fuck. But you know, I was smaller then, so I could hold better or whatever. But now that I'm chubby, you know, if I get a gas pocket, and what if I... Listen. <laughs> what if I get a gas pocket, got a fart and some shit, the seatbelt pop, the fucking thing come up, I'm going flying? No. Okay? So I'm scared of anything that go across your legs that and that's your only support. I like the restraints that come around your neck, the old shit that make you feel secure. Okay, so I don't want to do too much blabbing, guys. Um, but I just want to tell you mama's back. Okay, babies, don't trip. There's a lot of shit going down. And as I was in Cedar Point, what I was trying to tell you was I was watching the couples. There were so many couples in Cedar Point. And then I'm looking around and I seen beautiful women from all over the country. When I say all over the country, I mean they came from all over the country, Russian and, you know, because I talked to a lot of them. And they were single. And I'm sitting there and I'm in line because the lines out there is like fucking an hour and a half, two hours and shit, you know. Um, shout out to Fire Intuition because I definitely watched your videos while I was waiting in them damn lines. I love her. She's such a sweet girl. If you haven't checked her out, definitely go out and check her out. Uh, she's Fire Intuition. Her name is Ashley. Beautiful. Uh, fellow Leo like us, guys. Well, not like us. All of uh, Well, most of my audience is Leos. But um, she's a beautiful person. And I was, you know, she was keeping me occupied because I'm sitting in this long-ass line, standing in the line and shit, and hoping I ain't got to go to the bathroom and get out of this long-ass line. And I was listening to her videos, and they were great, absolutely. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at all the single people, and something dawned on me. Bella, it's not a beauty thing. It's not a weight thing. It's a spiritual thing of what gets people in relationships because... Here's all these beautiful women, body like Bacardi. That's my saying. I say body like Bacardi. That when you got an hourglass, body like Bacardi. Gorgeous, single as fuck. Okay? Just like our audience. Just like my audience. Single. Don't have nobody. You know, just there in line with their girlfriends or whatever. And then you have the people that are there. Maybe like, a, I'll say about 40% was in a relationship. And the other 60 were single. And I was speaking to my spirit guides as I was watching it. What makes some people have a hard time with dating and other people, you know, seem to get the cream of the crop? Why do they get what they want? You know, they, they get that beautiful relationship. At least it looks beautiful to us on the outside that don't have anyone. I don't want you to get caught up in that because looks could be deceiving. What we don't realize is that a lot of these people are in the middle of tests. They're learning, going through experiences. And some of us have already had the opportunity to do so, okay? Um, it really depends on where you are on your spiritual journey, where you are on your spiritual walk. Those of us that are uh, spiritual readers, that are in paths and intuitives, um, a lot of you will have a hard time with dating because it's just not your main purpose coming down here. Your main purpose coming down here is to raise the vibration of the planet. So it's really not about you actually having a relationship. Now that can catch up a lot of readers and I've seen a lot of people fall <clears throat> in, a, in a two and a half years, it'll be three in January that I've been here. I've seen a lot of people fall, 
you know, start a YouTube channel, blow up, boom. They're getting the views and everything. And they turn around and look and say, but I don't have anybody. I help everybody else, but I don't have anybody. And my love life is a mess. Why is that, Bella? Because that's not your purpose. Your purpose is not to be in a relationship or to worry about relationships. Your purpose is to raise the vibration of the planet. And I don't want to talk too much on that because I'm going to give a reading on that. I'm going to teach you guys some things, okay? Just for my readers out there, all right? Okay, so let's see what's happening. The Weekend Romance Report, August 2nd through the 4th. I know y'all going to talk shit. You spend 10 minutes talking about your... Listen, Linda. Mama's back. Shut your ass up. I'm about to help you, okay? So let's see what's going on for this weekend. If it's too much, fast forward to shit. You don't want to hear it, fast forward it. I know a lot of you be listening because a lot of y'all definitely notice me in Ohio. <laughs> so, shout out to all the people that love me. That really genuinely love me. I know y'all love me. You do. Y'all take care of me. Especially like around birthday time. Y'all know my birthday is August 17th. I don't know what I'm going to do for my birthday. Probably spend it with you guys like I do every year. So, let's see. Come on. Pick up this energy. What's happening here? August 2nd through the 4th. It's the messages for the collective. Okay. There we go. Alright. We got temperance. Can y'all see that? Hold up, because I got this little light. Ah. Listen, Linda. Hold on. So my daughter came in here and was on my altar and she moved my light. Okay, y'all can see that. Temperance. The Four of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Linda. Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Right. Under temperance, we got the emperor. Under the four of wands, we got the chariot. Under the queen of pentacles, we got the ace of cups. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. Under the three of cups, we got the six of cups. And under the five of pentacles is the ace of swords overall energy is a seven of swords all right so i got some messages here i'm telling you i am turned to fuck up listen linda it's finna go down all right it is finna go down all right so <clears throat> i'm gonna get straight to the point okay i'm not gonna spend too much time because i realize i'm burning a lot of energy a lot of unnecessary energy and the message is always at the very top, okay? And if you beat a story too much, then what happens is you begin to lose the story, okay? So I'll put it to you this way. The highlight of this weekend for this story, because I'm going to lay some more, okay? The highlight of this, this weekend is those of you that may have run into a new person, you found a new love of your life, okay? This person is going to be Virgo or Taurus, okay? This is a brand new individual. You weren't with them in the past, okay? Um, you probably never knew them. All right, a brand new love that's in your life, okay? They may be coming from a distance. We have the chariot card here. We have the four of wands. I want you to be very careful with um, moving too fast, all right? I'm going to tell it like that. Be careful with moving too fast, especially if it's a Virgo because Virgos tend to go with the motions. They go with the moment. Um, if, it, if, if it is a Virgo that you met, Virgos, you know, whatever situation they're in at, right at the moment, they can think that they love you. They can think that they want to be with you, especially the men, okay? I don't really know too much about the women doing that, but the men, they can think they love you. They, they can think that they want to be into a relationship, and they can make a hasty decision. These are the people that usually regret. Bella, what are you doing? These are the people that usually regret um, regret their decision after they done made it, okay? Um, think they found the love of their life or whatever and think that they want to be with this person. They up and move in with this individual, and then they're changing their mind. They don't feel the same way, okay? And that's usually because uh, Virgo are very productive individuals, all right? Um, they're all about productivity. I know I'm a Virgo rising, and if it ain't productive, and if it ain't... Hold on, guys. Okay, so anyway, um, 
if they're not producing, if they're not productive, then they don't want to move forward. Okay, so you have to be very careful with that. All right. Um, when it comes down to Taurus, you guys know how I feel about Taurus. When it comes to Taurus, man, I'm just going to throw it out there. You guys don't like it, but so the fuck what? I'm the reader. I think I know this. Okay, I deal with a lot of people. Taurus men are the biggest cheaters on the fucking planet, period. Okay, they can be totally in love, totally happy with their woman. They don't need a reason to cheat. They just cheat for just absolutely, I, I don't know, to stroke their fucking ego, okay? A Taurus um, individual is the only person that could have sexual intercourse with you, make full-blown love to your ass, and don't feel shit for you, okay? So you have to be very careful with these two individuals, Virgo and Taurus, okay? Um... When I say careful, listen, I want you to live your best life, okay? I want you to accept this love that is coming to you, all right? Um, however, I just want you to be, take your time, all right? I want you to take your time because if you fall in love with one of these Virgos or a Taurus and it doesn't turn out to what you wanted it to be, let's say that you're a sensitive individual. Let's say that you're Leo, somebody that deals with loyalty. Loyalty is everything, okay? So you believe a person by what they say to you, all right? Um... If, if you got a Virgo or a Taurus that comes to a Leo and says, listen, I'm single, I haven't been in a relationship in a long time, a Leo's going to believe that, okay? And you're going to hurt that Leo really badly two months down the line when that shit comes out that you're really still in a relationship and, you know, they trusted you and they moved you into their house and they let you into their circle, okay? Um, same goes with a lot of signs, you know, Cancer, uh, Pisces, um, you know, um, even other Tauruses, all right? I have noticed that there has been a lot of Virgos and Taurus coming into the life of fire, okay? So I'm going to say Leo, Sagittarius, as well as Aries. There's a lot of earth signs that are linking with fire, but these are short-lived relationships, okay? So I don't want you to get too excited. In the meantime, while you got this new love coming into your life, you also got baby daddy coming back, okay? At the same exact time. Some of you asking, Bella, why is this happening? Well, <clears throat> because for a lot of you, your baby's dad is your life partner. Your baby's dad is the karmic soulmate, okay? Or your baby's dad is the actual soulmate. We got temperance here. Temperance says that you need to reconcile men, the relationship that you have with your baby's father. It's a very critical lesson that you may have passed up. Okay, and why is this person coming back? Because it is going to help you to be able to move forward to accept this new love with this Virgo Taurus. <clears throat> All right, you got to mend this relationship. Those of you that feel like, I hate my baby's dad, this motherfucker ain't no good, you know, he keeps hurting me. Yes, we know he's going to run out. We know that he comes back, only uses you, or, you know, comes back and, and maybe even want to break up the new shit that you got going with this Virgo Taurus. I don't want you to worry about that. I just want you to worry about making sure your lessons are fulfilled with this person. All right. Now, this is ex-husband, baby daddy. That's it. This ain't your daddy. OK, this ain't your father. All right. I'm talking about relationships here. OK, a lot of people, you, you get mixed up with the cards because you look at the emperor and say, oh, this could be your father. No, Linda, this has nothing to do with that. This is talking about relationships. OK, so if you have your baby's dad coming in at the same time or your ex-husband coming in at the same time that you're meeting up with a, qu a queen of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, I want you to book a reading. The reason why I want you to book a reading is because a lot of you don't realize that if you don't go through this, you can't get this. You understand why? Because you're broken. See that five of pentacles with that ace of swords? All right. Now, listen, that's a sense of brokenness. Even though you want to move forward and move into a relationship, a brand new relationship with this person that you met, that seems to be the man of your dreams, the woman of your dreams. Listen, it has everything to do with the way that you reconcile or mend the relationship between you and ex-husband, you and baby daddy. All right. So that's why I tell you to book a reading. OK, because this story is deeper than the eyes can see. All right. For instance, with this Queen of Pentacles, there's things that you don't know about this Queen of Pentacles. All right. Even though they're coming into your life. But also, see, I know how the universe works. I know how spirit guides work and how it's deeper than just having a relationship. While you guys are looking for the relationship part of it, I'm looking for the karma behind it. The reason being is because I like to know I don't want to waste my fucking time. You know, I don't want to get into this relationship with this person fall head over heels about this individual and they're not there to stay okay so those of you that are directing straight to the point and you're like Bella I feel the same way you know I don't want to waste my time is this the one you know am I supposed to be with this one first of all you can never ask the universe is this the one all right are we meant to be are we going to be together forever don't ask that stupid shit okay that's the motherfucker for right now 
All right. Don't ask her. You're going to be together forever because being together forever, there has there, there has to be um, rules and there's lessons to that. OK, there's uh, sacrifices that you have to make in order to be with that person forever in order to last. All right. Like, for instance, this baby daddy situation that you tried sneaking away from or they snuck away from you, left town or whatever the fuck they got going on. OK, but they're in and out of your life. All right. And every time you seem to get something good, they want to come back. All right. The reason why they're coming back, this is soulmate energy. This is life partner. Um, probably not karmic soulmate. I, I don't know why I said that. Life partner, soulmate energy. These are lessons that were not picked up that still leaves you broken that you need to fulfill. If you don't fulfill this, then you won't get this. Okay, because see, you got to remember, this is on the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups doesn't last. It's not solidified. All right. There's no cards of solidification here. Now, if I had the Empress here or if I had the Ace of Pentacles here, okay, the only pinnacle that I have here that solid, solidifies things um, other than it being a queen of pentacles, and that's just to determine who we're talking about here, is a five of pentacles. That's a broken card, okay? That's a broken person that's being left out in the cold, um, feeling alone. Even when you get a relationship, feeling like nobody is good enough for you, okay? Um, you know, some of you can't even move on to this new relationship because you're still broken over the X, okay? You need to hit me up, allseeingguytarot at gmail.com. Listen, I'm doing something special this week. I should have mentioned it in the beginning. 30 for 30, 60 for 60. 30 minutes, 30 bucks, 60 bucks, 60 minutes, okay? That's what I'm doing. This is the weekend that I'm going to do that, okay? 30 for 30, 60 for 60. So if you haven't booked, um, you know, that reading with me, then definitely hit me up, okay? This doesn't really require a spiritual analysis. The only people that really need a spiritual analysis at this time are people that are going through the vertex. So if you are an air sign... Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you are Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and you're deep in the vertex. The vertex is official now. We are in the vertex. Um, if you're a sun or rising and you are those zodiac signs and you need some help, you find yourself stuck or you don't know what you're doing, you need to book a spiritual analysis, okay? But all the other guys, you know, you can you can get away with a 60 for 60, okay? Especially if you're dealing with that situation. You just met a Virgo or Taurus, and you're trying to figure out what's going on. Your baby daddy interrupting or your ex-boyfriend interrupting. You need to hit me up because it's it's very, very important if you want this relationship to last with that Virgo Taurus. It's not going to last without you having this information. You need it, okay? Period. Let's see what the next story is. Spirit and Universe, what are the additional messages you have for the collective? Next story, we got the lovers. Ten of Cups. The Death Card. So this is why I never get too excited. And I always encourage you, you know, listen, if you are a reader, let me just say this real quick. If you're a reader, you read tarot cards, I tell you all the time, listen, I don't want anyone to change their style because everybody has their own unique style of the way they read cards, okay? But... You would make a whole lot more sense if you lay the cards first before you start talking. I, I, I see those people that pick up the lover's card and automatically start talking about, oh, there's going to be great, great love coming to you. Or d d you're about to attract the person that you want to attract and then that big ass death card come right after it. Okay. You could, you could prevent, you know, telling lies if you just let the universe talk to you. Lay your cards first. Okay. We got the three of wands. Two of wands. Under lovers, we got the eight of swords. Under the ten of cups is the chariot. We got a lot of chariot energy. We got a lot of out of town energy. Under the death card, we got the page of swords. Under the three of wands is the knight of wands. Under the two of wands, we have the queen of pentacles. Goddamn. Y'all, this queen of pentacles is everywhere, okay? So it's just either the person that you are talking to right now. Virgo Taurus or this is um, the individual that the person that you met or the person that you were talking to is married to or in a relationship with okay overall energy ace of swords all right also it could be that I missed something in the last reading okay so I'm gonna catch it here okay so let me pick up what I didn't pick up last time a lot of times I try to avoid the negativity okay but something that you guys don't realize is this 
I have to be honest. If I'm not honest and I try to sugarcoat shit, then what happens is I get my ass whooped right in front of you guys, okay? So this would be equivalent to getting my ass whooped in front of you, all right? Now, those of you that are readers would be able to pick this up, Bella. That says the same exact thing a different way, okay? Um, people that don't know how to read and you're just listening to these readers, then you're not going to realize when they get checked, okay? But I'm very honest and I'm going to show you how I got checked. In the last reading, we're talking about Virgo Taurus. This is something that Spirit wants me to highlight to those of you that just ran into a Virgo Taurus individual. All right? Now, with the Lover's card, this represents that this person just came into your life. It's new love. Okay? But however, there's an entanglement. When we're talking about the lovers, it always represents three people. All right? Um, it's, it's the man, the woman, and then the angel in the middle. Okay? Now... If you were to take that if you were to take that lover's card and you turn it upside down, you get the devil energy, which represents someone that is trapped, okay? However, the devil didn't come up. Instead, the eight of swords came up to let me know that this is a person that you got with that is trapped. They're already in a situation, they have a family that lives a distance, okay? Now, for some of you, this family doesn't live a distance, all right? They may have told you that they're divorced. They're no longer with the person. The person is in another state. The person is in another country, okay? They may have told you that, and they may have told you that they're divorced. See that death card with the page of swords? Okay, well, the death card with the page of swords represents that they're not finished, okay? They're keeping that as a secret from you. The page of swords represent the secretive individual, okay? The person that is keeping secrets, all right? Because why else would the lovers come up with the eight of swords? The eight of swords is trapped energy, okay? Some people say cut the, she can take those, they're loose, you can take it off and you can walk through. I don't think that that's what it anticipated. I, you know, the eight of swords is about recognizing your boundaries, realizing the things that hold you up, okay? That's what eight means, or the number eight represents, okay? Um, so with the chariot being here, all right, this is my out of town card. When I see the chariot pop up, I know I'm dealing with stuff that, you know, uh, you're dealing with a person that may have a girlfriend that lives a different state, a different city. Okay. Or you may be dating, uh, the Virgo Taurus that lives a distance from you. Okay. And they got something going on over there that they're not telling you about. Okay. We got the three of wands. The three of wands is my double out of town card. So when a chariot and the three of wands pop up together, I know that I'm talking about a person that a long distance relationship. Okay. So those of you that have just met somebody, they're Virgo Taurus, they're long distance from you. There's some shit going on that they're not telling you. Okay. They may have told you that they got a divorce. They may have told you that, um, they're no longer with their baby's mom. They broke up, but the truth of the matter is they're keeping that a secret. Now, does it mean that they're in a relationship and are happily together? No. Maybe at this time that they're not in a relationship. Maybe they're single right now. Maybe they've broken up. But I have too many cards that solidifies a relationship here. And I'm going to show you. The lovers represents that two people are together. The eight of swords represents that they're trapped to that situation. The ten of cups represents that maybe they have children by that individual. Not maybe. They do. Ten of cups. It's children, okay, or it could represent marriage, okay? This is the inner workings, the immediate family, all right? The two of wands represent that this person is taken, all right? Now, the knight of wands represents that this person just ran into you. You just met this motherfucker, and they got love on a man or sex on a man, but they don't stay long. Remember what I told you with the last story about Virgo, if you're dealing with Virgo or Taurus, these individuals will, you know, seemingly fall head over heels about you in one moment and the next moment change their fucking mind on you, okay? That is the fickle individual with the knight of wands. He's fickle, okay? She's fickle. They change their mind. They may have liked you last Tuesday. This Tuesday, they don't fucking like you no more, okay? They want to stick with what they're with, all right? Maybe they've seen something about you. These people are very productive. They're all about finances, money, making sure you got a job, you know, um, when it comes down to Taurus, Taurus won't stick with you if you're not financially secure, okay? You got to be financially secure or you got to do something, okay? And, and what do I mean by do something like, and, and this is fucked up, but I'm going to tell it like it is. You all know me, I, I, I keep saying, well, honey, um, do something, meaning that I, I see a lot of Taurus men, if their woman is broke, okay, if they are with a woman that, you know, is kind of like, on welfare, got a bunch of kids by them, then there's some freaky shit going on in that relationship, okay? Challenge me if you, if you think I'm wrong. Book me for a fucking reading. I'm going to bust your ass wide open, I'm telling you, okay? They're usually into threesomes or they're pimping that girl out or, you know, um, the girl was usually a hustler and she's out there, you know, like he'll, he'll, he doesn't mind if she goes and tricks, 
you know, to make sure that she gets money because these people deal with productive people, period. Okay. Now, um, on the other hand, it could be that we're talking about uh, the Virgo woman. Okay. And, and the Virgo woman is about productivity. She's about, you know, things moving ahead. So if she's dating somebody that drags their fucking feet, even though she's an earth sign, she's one of the earth signs that doesn't like to deal with slow and steady. You understand? Whereas Taurus is slow and steady, Capricorn slow and steady. Virgo, hell no. So if she's meeting somebody that she really likes and she wants to be with, she's like, come on, get on with it already, okay? You, what, you're not calling me? Oh, you don't want to talk about, we've been talking for a month. You don't want to talk about a relationship? I'm out of here. I'm already interested in something else, okay? So that's how the Virgo woman could react. And we're talking about the Virgo man. The Virgo man is more so, you know, he like you one minute and then he fucking change his mind because maybe he's seen something about you that, you know, is lazy, He's seen a lazy side of you that he doesn't like, okay? These are very militant people. Like, um, Virgo men are perfectionists, and they want, they, they, they're critics, okay? I, I'm gonna be honest, because a lot of men will say to me, Bella, you are a fucking critic out of this world. Like, you criticize everything. And sometimes I have to catch myself, because that is my Virgo rising, to criticize everything, and everything has to be top-notch and has to be right, okay? I don't put out half-assed shit, Okay, and I don't want my partner to put out half ass shit, you know, so I'm going to, you know, complain about that. Okay, and that is the Virgo nature to complain about things that are not, you know, up to par, up to their standards. Okay, um, yeah, so that's the only thing that I missed in this. So let me check this out real quick. Give me that page of swords. Five of cups. Three of wands. Five of Cups, Three of Wands, this lets me know that there is a breakup right now at this time. So you're meeting this person at the same exact time that they just had a breakup with that person that lives out of town. Okay? So if you met a person that lives out of town, Virgo Taurus, um, and they told you they're divorced or they told you they're no longer in a relationship, they're still hurting about that person. Nine times out of ten, they're going to end up back with that person. Okay? They're still hurting about that person. And right now, they're on their shit where they're like, okay, well, fuck it, I'm moving on. And then they will wake up in the morning with buyer's remorse. So protect yourself against this, okay? Okay, give me um, two of wands. We got the three of swords. We have the ace of swords. Break me down on that three of swords. What happened there? Four of swords. Tell me more. The emperor and the four of pentacles. Okay, so this could be a situation to where the person that they're with, the, the, they're probably... The Virgo Taurus, I think, is the husband or the man, okay? I don't think I'm talking about a woman Virgo Taurus. I think I'm talking about the men, okay? Um, it kind of seems to me that there must have been some sort of breakup. There's something that happened, a third-party situation that could be on the part of him or that can be on the part of his wife or the other girl, you know, the, the girlfriend, the baby mama, or whatever that situation is, all right? But the truth of the matter is he doesn't want to let it go. Even though he hasn't spoke to her in a while, they haven't talked with the Four of Swords. I know they're not talking, they're not communicating. He still needs to cut this out of his life in order for there to be a solidification between you and them. Okay? So Spirit is saying that we're not going to let this move forward because he, that's what, when you see that like that, <clears throat> when you see all these cards that are holding on, the Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, the Two of Wands, okay? Page of Swords, the Secrets, the relationship that's going on out of town or away from you where you cannot see it then usually it is a karmic contract and you cannot bust those karmic contracts up. All right. No matter how hard you try, you, you just can't do it. All right. You're probably going to get your feelings hurt. All right. So this is why I tell you to take your time. Okay. And those of you that I'm talking to, you probably have at the same time that you met this person, you have your baby's father coming in. All right. You have that old devil coming in your ex-husband, your, your baby's dad coming in at the same time. A lot of times they're coming in to protect you. Okay, they're coming in to distract you so you don't fall head over heels about this new guy because they know it's, it's short lived. Okay, so pay attention to that baby daddy. All right, one more, guys. One more because I got to get all the other readings out to you guys. Okay, give me one more story. Spirit. The, short, the story should change now because I got out the message that they wanted me to get out. So. We'll see a different one now. Okay, here we go, babes. Eight of Cups. 
temperance. The lovers. What is all this walking away shit, y'all? What is happening? The Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay. Under the Eight of Cups, we got the Tower. Under Temperance, we got the Wheel of Fortune. This Vertex, this is the Vertex that's, you know, went down. Everything was in retrograde last month, y'all. So it was kind of fucked up last month, July. Okay, under the Lovers, we have the Queen of Wands. All right, so that's a new person, Aries, Sagittarius. Under the Ten of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles. That's Capricorn, Taurus. Okay, under the Page of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, the overall energy. Four, four of Cups. I don't know why I was going to say Four of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, so this reading is literally all over the place. That's why you see all these cards. I had to pause for a minute because I was getting so many different messages. I had to make sure that I was accurate, okay? So let me just break this down real quick. All right, so I'm talking to someone who happens to be um, Taurus or Capricorn, okay? And you were involved or married to um, Aries or Sagittarius, all right? So it's probably Aries and Taurus, honestly. Um, but it could also be, you know, those other signs that I mentioned. Now, a few months ago, there was a situation that arised where this Taurus or Capricorn person may have popped up pregnant, but it could be the other way around, depending on who the woman is of the relationship, of the marriage, all right? Um, and it kind of looks like maybe at the time the Aries or Sagittarius wasn't involved with their wife who may have been Capricorn Taurus, okay? At the time, they may have gotten involved with a Leo. I'm going to say a Leo or another Sagittarius, okay? They got involved with that person. Now, that person seems to be a karmic soulmate. However, there was still work that needed to be done between this Aries Sagittarius and this Taurus Capricorn, all right? So the Leo may have been, or the Sagittarius may have, been heartbroken when a few months ago the two of you separated and you haven't talked to that person even still all right or some of you are still talking to that person but they're still trapped in a situation you think that they're trapped in a situation all right but let me tell you how fucked up this situation is that Taurus or Capricorn woman that is married to that Aries Sagittarius man when he left to go hook up with that Leo Sagittarius she also cheated, okay? And the actual baby that she's carrying is not the Aries Sagittarius' baby. It is uh, Scorpio Pisces. That's the father of the kid. That's the real father of the kid, okay? So I want you to imagine this. Let's say that you're Leo Sagittarius. Let's say you're, you're the third party in the situation. You're under the impression that this man is not married anymore. Him and his wife is separated or they're divorced. And then out of nowhere, one day he picks up and he just goes back to her. When he gets back to her, she claims she's pregnant. Okay, so he's in this relationship and he's trying to work through it. Now, meanwhile, he want to get out of it because he wants to get back to this Leo Sagittarius. It was the time of his life that he had with this person, okay? Now, I'm talking about the Aries Sagittarius man, okay? So, he wants to get back to this Leo Sagittarius because he had a really great time with this person. He really vibed with this person. He found a vibe with her. So... Now he's stuck in a situation because he's finding out his wife is pregnant. What do you mean you're pregnant? Okay, yeah, well, we did have sex right before I left. But I had left and, and went to visit a Leo Sagittarius that I may have known from the past. This person also lives a distance. This is long-distance love shit, all right? So months go past, all right? We come up in the month of August. Now, this is popping up for the weekend because it kind of seems like these, these um, truths are still coming out. I feel like it's coming out because there may have been some sort of fight. When it's time for you to let a person go, it doesn't matter how much you try to make it work, how much you try to hold on. The universe will do things. It'll cause arguments, conflicts. People say shit out their mouth. And you realize that you're not meant to be with this individual. So it doesn't even matter, even if you're married. Okay? Um, if you married the wrong motherfucker... Or you're married to somebody and a relationship has run its course, it's time to let it go. Okay? So that's the case between this Aries Sagittarius that's married to this Taurus Capricorn. It's time to let it go. The shit's over. 
All right, both of you motherfuckers keep cheating on each other. Y'all got your own shit going outside of the household, okay? And it, it's time to move on. You have to make it back, Aries Sagittarius, to this Leo Sagittarius, because this person happens to be a karmic soulmate for you. So I think that the Taurus Capricorn may have spilled the beans. Something happened or something will happen this weekend to where it'll get out that, motherfucker, while you were gone, I ended up hooking up with somebody too. And he happened to be a Scorpio Pisces. The problem with that situation is this Taurus Capricorn is going to be raising this kid alone. And that's why this Nine of Pentacles is there because that Scorpio Pisces is already in a relationship as well. All right. They have their own situation going on and they don't have any intentions on being with this Capricorn Taurus. All right. So not only do the Capricorn Taurus lose their Aries Sagittarius husband, but they also lose <coughs> the actual baby's father which is Scorpio Pisces, for now, all right? This is just for now, but everything, you know, is subject to change, all right? But this is the vertex that is hitting, that is, um, that needs to switch up some things, that needs to uh, bring some things to light, all right? Because we have the Temperance card under here, and we also have the Wheel of Fortune. Some things need to come to light. The Eight of Cups with a tower represents that something came out of nowhere. And I believe it came out of nowhere on this Aries, Sagittarius. It came out of nowhere for them. While they're thinking they're back with their wife and they're working things out or whatever. And even though they were respectable and they left that Leo Sagittarius so that they can work on their marriage. Because they were thinking they were having a baby, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, with this person. Okay, that's devastating to the Aries, Sagittarius. But even so... Aries Sagittarius is not really um, safe either because these motherfuckers was cheating too, all right? So both of you guys were cheating on each other. Neither one of you were right, all right? You both had some sneaky shit that you were into, all right? And it just, this is the karma that just came back strong. Remember what I tell you when a vertex hit, you know, a lot of times it's busting up shit that are secretive. It is uh, bringing to light things that need to end, Okay, it is ending things. Okay, so so it could be a very very painful time to um, the individual that thought that your secret would last for a very long time. All right, um, Aries Sagittarius needs to get back to Leo Sagittarius. Okay, that's where they need to get back to. All right, Aries Sagittarius need to get back to Leo. This is where you're making your way back to. This is what the vertex is pushing you towards. However, you need to end the thing that's going on with the Capricorn Taurus. Right, and some of you is kind of fucked up because you actually thought this person was pregnant by you. This doesn't have to be a wife, this could be a relationship you were in for a long time. You got kids with that person, and they're pregnant again, and then you end up finding out that baby ain't yours. All right, I do do DNA tests for the spiritual analysis price, so you can hit me up at all seeing at gmail.com if you're in this situation. All right, because shit happens, you know, I'm not here to judge people, things happen. All right. There's a story to that. Bella, well, this nigga wasn't home. I mean, this motherfucker kept leaving me. We kept fighting, you know, and I ended up hooking up with this guy for one night. And now I find out I'm pregnant. I don't know if it's my husband's baby or if it's this other guy's. I do understand. And I will never, ever disclose your business live or tell anybody about your shit. I'm very confidential. You guys know that, you know, I keep everything secretive. All right. You come to me. Nobody has to know have a lot of people that's coming to me, even readers that you listen to that are coming to me that have situations. I'll never disclose that information with you, okay? Unless we're on live and they approve of it and they want it disclosed. But other than that, you will never know about the people that come to me, all right? Because everybody needs somebody. Everybody needs somebody to talk to, you know, when they're going through stuff. But I feel like um, this weekend what it's highlighting is it's saying that, you know, a lot of you Capricorn Taurus, your happy home is falling apart this very week. And especially if you're married to Aries Sagittarius, this person is walking away because something comes out of nowhere. It could be a big ass fight that you had and then you opened your mouth. You said some shit. Well, fuck you, motherfucker. That's why I was fucking with da, da, da. Maybe you find out. Maybe this Aries Sagittarius starts getting overwhelmed and they mention this Leo Sagittarius. It's probably a Leo. Um, they mention this Leo that, you know, they had the time of their life with this person or whatever, and they should have never came back to you or something, and that pisses you off, and you really spill the beans, okay? And this is a really disgraceful situation because it kind of represents it's going to come out this week that I'm not really happy with this motherfucker. Even though I got kids with this person, I've been married to this person for a while, I'm really not happy, Bella. I want out, 
okay and that's what this weekend is all about it's going to highlight that it's going to show you that you know the marriage the relationship has run its course and for those of you that do not have children you don't have a baby okay some of you got an abortion some of you said fuck the bullshit I'm not dealing with that I found out who the baby father is I'm just going to go and sneak and get an abortion some of you had miscarriages all right you worried about it so much that you actually gave yourself an early miscarriage okay but even still with giving yourself an early miscarriage is still not going to save the relationship between these two individuals all right I don't like how this woman ends up alone okay so if you are a Leo or a Sagittarius and you're waiting on an Aries Sagittarius and they are married to Capricorn or Taurus I'm telling you what's going on on the other end this is the part that you can't see this is what makes me the fly on the wall okay that's the part you can't see you can't see that going on in their household you just see the fact that they're not reaching out to you they're not talking to you and you feel they don't want you that's not the case the case is they have to finish up a lesson they can't move until the vertex spins and they complete that lesson and a lot of you Leo Sagittarius you're running into Virgo and Taurus right now soulmates okay Capricorn uh, earth sign soulmates that you have to finish up some work with before you could even get with this Aries Sagittarius Y'all got to hit me up, okay? Listen, my prices are cheap as fuck. If you cannot afford my prices, you need to find another reader, okay? That's going to give you half of what I give you, all right? I, I'm not going to drop my prices no more. I cannot drop them no more, okay? I'm not going to be able to keep this channel up if I drop them anymore, all right? I think that I'm probably one of the cheapest ones out there with the knowledge that I have, being the mother of tarot. Um, I try to keep it very reasonable, okay? Look in the description box below because it'll tell you the pricing. But this weekend, I'm running a special 30 minutes for 30 bucks, 60 minutes for 60 bucks. Can't beat that. Jump on it when the specials are there. Pay your invoice. Please stop hitting me up if you're not going to pay your invoice. Don't do that because you're going to hurt yourself. Okay? Because you're going to run into a fucking problem. Especially those of you that cap corner tours. You're in a vertex. You can't get through this motherfucker. You done booked a reading on my, one of my specials. You went past the 48 hours. Now you're double charged. Okay? When you really need me. So you, you know, you book right now, but you're not ready to pay. Okay? You passed the 48 hours. You try to hit me up two weeks from now because now you got the money. Okay, and then you end up get having to pay double. Stop doing that. Hit me when you're ready to pay your invoice. You only get 48 hours on my invoices, okay? Because I send out so many. It's ridiculous how many I send out. Okay, so, and my spaces are limited. So, stop playing with me. I'm not going to play with you. If you sold something, I'm not going to tell you that I'm ready to buy something from you and, and I'm not ready to buy it. No. I'm going to hit you up when I got the money and I'm ready to hit you up. When I got a real problem. Okay? That's just thrown out there. That's not all of you. Okay? Because most of you, you're, you pay on time. You, you get your shit done. All right? But that's for those of you that fuck around and drive me crazy with that shit. Okay? And think that I'm not going to remember you when you hit me up two weeks. Bullshit. I'm going to send you a high-ass invoice because you, you passed up. If, if, if you passed up, you're going to pay straight price. That's seventy seven eighty. Okay, if, if you didn't pay your invoice in 48 hours, you're going to pay seventy seven eighty. You're not going to qualify for 30 days for any of my specials. Okay, because I'm going to think you're a bullshitter. All right, I'm a Virgo rising, so I'm all about planning and productivity. Don't play with me. Okay, so I just want to throw that out there. Okay, I love you guys. I thank you so much. Um, those of you that donate to me, I thank you, especially you guys know it's around my birthday. My Leos always take care of me. Not only Leo, a, a lot of you take care of me, my regulars. My birthday is so special. I, I really enjoy it because everybody shows me how much I mean to them. And that means everything to me when I go through very difficult times and I want to quit because I do want to quit. Sometimes I just, I just want to quit. I don't feel like I'm doing anything. You know, my views are, have been very low. You know, and it's really hard to get views up, you know, but sometimes people don't like the truth. That's why the views drop, you know, people don't like the truth, but I'm as real as it gets. And you know that, okay? You come to me when you got a problem and you want to fix it, okay? I love you, babies. I hope you enjoy this weekend. Um, definitely look out for your monthly, your monthlies. I'm coming with those. I just got back from vacation uh, Friday, so I'm coming with the... Um, 
the monthlies. All right, it'll be done this weekend. I'm trying to go live tonight because it's one in the morning. Yeah, it's one a.m. here, so I'm trying to go live tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so I want to go live. I haven't been live in a while. I'm gonna definitely connect with you so you can see this crazy ass red color in my hair, y'all. I'm dying my hair black. I can't do this red bloody shit. Every time I wash my hair, it looks like a fucking murder scene. I can't do that, okay? If y'all got some advice, if anybody dyes their hair red and you got some advice on how to, for it not to bleed or whatever, you know, leave it in my um, comment board. Tell me what to do because I don't like this bloody ass shit. I don't like to look like a mass murderer. It's, it's coming on my clothes and my shirts. I, I don't like that. So I'm thinking about going back black. But let me know, definitely, guys, if you have a solution with down here, some of my hairdressers, because I got people all over the world that are clients, hairdressers, masseuse. I mean, I, you name it, I have it, you know, that been with me for a long time, that are very loyal. I love to death. I will drop, I will stop at the drop of a dime to make sure they are right. On vacation, it doesn't matter. If they're in trouble, I'm coming. They know that, okay? All right, babies, I love you so much. Remember to like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely share the video with your fellow friends, um, your family members, whoever. Just definitely share the uh, video on Instagram, whatever, okay? Help me get the views up, okay? Um, remember, Leo won for the month of July again. Congratulations to my Leos. I just knew Virgo was going to take it because Virgo was so fucking close, Listen, Cricket already put out the two winners that won for Leo. You only have one week to reserve. If you do not reserve in one week, I'm moving to Virgo because they were in second place. I'm not doing it no more. I'm not waiting no more. You have one week. Cricket put out. Definitely go back to uh, the August readings, okay? So from the 1st to the 15th and then the 15th to the 31st, I need you to go back to the board and see if you won. I always tell you to hit your notification button so you can see if you won. You got one week to reserve that, okay? And I believe she did that like Sunday or something. So you got like two days to reserve that because nobody has reached out to me. I'm going to Virgo next. I'm not going to sit in Leo all this time, okay? So if you won, hit me up. All right, all seeing at tarot at gmail.com. Okay, I'm still ghetto as fuck, and I, I don't do the website shit, so I still do everything through PayPal and my email. Okay, so that's what it is. I love you, babies. I love you so much. Uh, welcome back, me. I'm back. Mama's back. We're gonna get this going. I'm gonna be more dedicated. I'm gonna give you more of my time because I've been slacking, and I know I've been slacking. Um, I'm going to give you more of my time. I'm definitely going to be dropping those bangers. So definitely subscribe and hit that notification button because it's coming. I got so many things planned. I'm going to get on my game and I love you. Okay. I love you so much. That vacation was everything to me. I, it was the happiest moment of my life and it changed me and it helped me in so many areas that I was slacking in. I was, I felt myself being lazy. So any readers that are out there, if you feel like you're being lady, lazy and you don't even want to do a reading. You say you want to do it, but you don't do it. I'm going to advise that you stop what you're doing. Stop it because it's not fair to your clients, number one. Stop what you're doing and pick up and get the fuck out of here. Go on a vacation. Take your kids, whatever you do. And rejuvenate yourself so you can come back that much stronger. Okay? So right now I'm lit. I'm ready. And I'm ready to help my babies. You know, you know, I'm loyal. If I, if I don't feel right, if I don't feel up to par, if I feel sick, I'll let you know. I'm not doing your reading. I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm not one of those readers that's going to throw out that false information. I'm going to give you the best amount of money that you, the best reading that amount of money can pay for. Okay, y'all know that. I'm, I'm, I'm always going to be lit. That's just how I am. Okay, I'm a perfectionist. I'm a Virgo riser. Okay, I identify more with Virgo than I do with Leo. So, I'm always going to give you the best of the best. I love you. And until next time, enjoy this weekend.